Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will learn how to use the Server Manager console to create a storage pool in Windows Server 2019. First of all, let's open Server Manager console. To do that, I'm going to click on Start button and let's click on Server Manager. Once you open Server Manager, on left hand side, you need to click on File and Storage Services. Then I'm going to click on Disks. For this lab guide, already I have attached two virtual hard disks to this VM. And as you can see, we have a now total three disks, disk 0, disk 1 and disk 2. We are going to use disk 1 and disk 2 to create a storage pool. To create a storage pool, we need to click on storage pools. If you have any existing storage pool on your server, that will be listed here. Let's click on task and select new storage pool. It will start a new wizard. Click on next. Here you need to assign a name of your storage pool. For this guide, I am giving name pool1. Let's click on next. Here you need to select the physical disk which you want to use to create a storage pool. For this guide, I am going to select both disks. Let's click on next. And click on create to create a new storage pool. Let's click on close. Here you can verify our pool 1 is there and as you can see the combined capacity of our storage pool is 253 GB. Why? Because we have used two hard disks to create a storage pool, each of 127 GB. Once you create a storage pool, after that you need to create one virtual disk under your storage pool. So select your storage pool, right click on it and select new virtual disk. Select our storage pool, which is pool 1 in my case. Click on OK. It will start another wizard. Click on Next. Specify the virtual disk name. For this guide, I am giving name data1. Let's click on Next. Next again. Here we have our options to select the layout. If I try to select parity layout, it is going to give us the error because to create a parity layout, at least you need three physical disks and that we don't have. Let's try to click on Next. And as you can see, we are receiving warning that the storage pool does not contain enough physical disk to support the selected storage layout. Let's select mirror and click on next. Here I'm going to select a thin provisioning type. Click on next. Specify the size. For this guide, I'm going to give 100 GB. Click on next and click on create. That's it. If you want to create a volume under this new virtual hard disk, that time you need to select this checkbox and click on close. That will start another wizard. But we don't want to do that. So I'm going to clear this checkbox and click on close. Now here you can see we have our new virtual hard disk. Let's click on disk. Here you can see our disk 1 and disk 2 is listed but the status of that disk is offline and a partition style is unknown and it is marked as a read only but we have a one more disk here with the size of 100 GB and with the name data1 this is the our virtual hard disk which we have created in our storage pool now you can create volume on your virtual hard disk just like you create on your physical disk let's right click here and select new volume it will also start a new wizard click on next next again Select the size, I am going to create the volume with the 100 GB size. Click on next. Choose the drive letter which you want to assign to your partition. For this guide, I am going to give drive letter H. Click on next. On this console, you need to select the file system. With the help of that file system, it is going to format your volume. Here I am going to select REFS. Click on next and click on create. And that's it. Let's click on close. Now we have a one more volume with the drive letter H. Let's confirm the same thing in File Explorer. Let's click on File Explorer. And here you can verify our new volume is created successfully with the drive letter H. In this lab guide, we have learned how to create storage pool in Windows Server 2019 as well as we have learned the steps to create new virtual hard disk and how to create a simple volume as well.